Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 11 on functions. In this lecture, we will discuss this question which was asked in GTU summer 2020 exam. First, we understand this question. Define even and odd functions and determine whether the function f from i to r plus defined by fx equal to 2x plus 7 is 1 to 1 or bijective. So first part of the question is about the definition of even and odd function and we are already familiar with these uh, definitions from our school classes. We uh, just write down those two definitions by recalling whatever we have understood in our school classes about even and odd functions. So if we talk about function of x or if we consider any real function uh, we can write that a function fx is said to be even function said to be even if if we replace x by minus x that is if we find out value of function at minus x then it is same as value of function at x and this is true for all possible values of x in the domain of f if f of minus x equal to fx for every x in the domain of f then our function is said to be even and fx is called odd function fx is said to be or fx is called odd function if if we replace x by minus x then we will get negative of fx if this happens for all possible values of x at which function is defined or for all x in the domain of f then function is said to be odd function so if f of minus x equal to fx for all x function is even if f of minus x equal to minus of fx for all x function is odd this is the first part of the question in second part we have to check whether this function fx equal to 2x plus 7 whose domain is i i is another notation for the set of integers and codomain is r plus that is set of positive real numbers so we have to check whether this function is one to one or bijective so we know that bijective means one to one and on to so first we will check whether this is one to one or not then we will check if it is one to one then we will check whether it is on to or not if it is one to one and on to then it will be bijective so first we check whether this function is one to one or not first we write down the given function f is a function from i to r plus and uh, it is given by this formula image of x is 2x plus 7 now to check whether this is one to one or not uh, we consider two elements in the domain of this function let x y belongs to i that is domain of given function such that fx and fy are equal we know that if fx equal to fy implies x equal to y then function is one to one so first we consider two elements x y in the domain of f such that fx equal to fy and we try to prove that x equal to y now fx is defined as 2x plus 7 therefore fy will be 2y plus 7 and uh, we can see that or we can rewrite this as we take these quantities on this side and uh, we can see 7 will cancel out and uh, we have 2 into x minus y equal to 0 2 is always non-zero therefore x minus y equal to 0 and uh, therefore x and y are equal now x and y are arbitrary elements in the domain which is i so we have shown that 
if f x equal to f y, then x equal to y for all possible values of x and y. Therefore, given function is one to one. So hence we can write that f x equal to f y implies x equal to y for all possible values of x and y in the domain of given function. Therefore, f is one to one. Now we check for ontoness. So for that. Uh, we take any element in the codomain. Codomain is set of all positive real numbers. So we take any element in the codomain. We know that f is onto if for any element in the codomain there exist some element x in the domain such that f x equal to y. So we have to consider arbitrary element in the codomain and we have to show the existence of at least one element in the domain which is i here such that image of x is y under f so we don't know whether this is going to be correct or not so first we assume that suppose this is correct then we will be able to find out the pre image for this y y we consider in the codomain let y belongs to r plus and uh, uh, we assume that there exists some x in the codomain. So let y belongs to r plus and y equal to fx for some x in the domain which is i. So if this is true then we will be able to decide that value of x in the set of integers. So to find out that value of x, we use the definition of fx which is 2x plus 7. So we are interested in the value of x. So we rewrite this as 2x equal to y minus 7. Therefore x is equal to y minus 7 divided by 2. So this is the value of x uh, which will give uh, whose image will be y. Now y is any positive real number and x is in the set of integers. So first we have to check whether this is going to be an integer or not for any y in the codomain. If this is integer y minus 7 by 2 for any y in the codomain then we can say that function is on 2. So for example suppose I consider y equal to say 1 then for y equal to 1 we will obtain 1 minus 7 divided by 2 that is minus 6 by 2 which is minus 3. So this is in the set of integers i. But suppose I consider y equal to say 2 then x will be equal to 2 minus 7 divided by 2 that is minus 5 by 2 which is not an integer. So for y equal to 2 there is no integer x such that fx equal to y. So we can say that this function is not on 2 because this quantity x equal to y minus 7 by 2 is not always an integer. This is not true that this is always an integer. This is always an integer if y minus 7 is multiple of 2. So if y is in this form 2m plus 7 then only uh, we will get its pre image. But the uh, values of y which are not in this form uh, we will not obtain this pre image x. So that is going to be that will create a problem. So we can say that this function is not on 2 and we can write for y equal to 2 there is no integer x such that fx equal to y or we can say that here x equal to y minus 7 by 2 is not always in the domain 
i uh, for example for y equal to 2 in the codomain which is set of positive real numbers x will be equal to 2 minus 7 divided by 2 which is minus 5 by 2 and minus 5 by 2 is not an integer minus 5 by 2 does not belongs to i so therefore uh, for y equal to 2 in the codomain of given function there is no x there is no x in the domain set of integers such that fx equal to y so this shows that f is not onto or surjective if f is onto then every element of codomain must have pre image in the domain or for every y in the codomain there must exist at least one x in the domain such that fx equal to y if this happens then f is onto and here we obtain for y equal to 2 we find that there is no x in the domain such that fx equal to y therefore this function is not onto because here domain is the set of integers if domain of this function were given as set of real numbers then it would be an onto function but because domain is the set of integers it is not onto so the conclusion is this function is not onto and therefore it is not bijective f is not bijective because it is not onto function is bijective if and only if it is one to one and onto here function is one to one but it is not onto therefore it is not bijective so they can ask you this type of questions here we have shown that this function is one to one and it is not bijective because it is not onto and it is not onto because for y equal to 2 in the codomain there is no x in the domain such that fx equal to y therefore f is not onto so this is all about this session i hope you like it thank you very much